everyone and welcome back to the stream. I know it's been a while since I've had a stream, but we're back and we have a snack crate. We do. Germany. Welcome to Germany. It is from Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. And everyone is excited about the German snack crate here. Indeed. We, uh... Had a little delay on the snack crate due to snack crate's personal uh, trouble mm -hmm. with getting it here via boat because of a hurricane. But now we have it, so it's a little, a uh, little late. But it's September's box. <laughs> Hello, by the way, in case you've forgotten me. Yes. yes, we are all back. We are all here to enjoy some tasty snacks from Germany, <laughs> and. We're drinking German beer. German style beer, courtesy of Missouri. Yes. It's from Missouri. St. Louis, to be exact. <laughs> but anyways. Sweet Germany. We are back, and we are going to start off with a well, with some information about Germany. the Germany. I need a napkin. Uh, don't worry. Don't, no, no, there's one right there. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so the capital of Germany is Berlin. It was established in February 2nd of 962 AD. Its population is 83,019,200 people. Quite a bundle. Indeed. Yes, quite a lot of people. And the area is 138,062 square miles. Could you uh, give us a visual of that? Can you kind of describe it? It's really big. <laughs> like, you know, the shapes. That is right here. It's the shape of Germany that and the is... colors of the German flag. Yes. Guten Tag. I only know a few phrases. Hello. <laughs> okay. How do you do? I know a very select so. few phrases, but yeah. It is now time to start the snacking. Shall christen it by opening. Who's doing the first grab a doo? Me. All right. All right. Reader's choice, I guess. Oh my god. This oh thing. my god, my arm. Easy. Chronic illness stuff like that. What did you get? Uh. I got Haribo Savers. Oh my god. Show the camera. Volcano. This so, sounds like it gummy be bears. Easy. A spicy a gummy company. bear? Spicy gummy bear thing. I mean, it's a volcano. I don't know. Can I see? It has a spicy little volcano guy on it. Oh no. What? <laughs> oh what? no. Nine. <laughs> well, bad news. The ingredients is in German. Oh, shucky darn. Oh, no. So we're purely guessing. Let's go. For those of you just tuning in that hasn't seen us before, we're going to blindly taste these, give a review, and then we'll read what they are and see how right or wrong they are. Right? Ah. To paraphrase ah. Freddie Mercury, instead of hot wait, space, wait, 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 wait. let's go, it's hot wait, 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 snack, wait. let's go. What? So, isn't there a handy tab? Steve, you must speak German. But it had the little pink <laughs> on Uh, what color do you want? There's two different colors. There's orange and then ah! a greenish one. I want the greenish one, personally. I want whatever oh, comes to me. Thank you. I wanted that one. <laughs> that brown one. Oh, is that middle stuff liquid? The middle stuff is more I'm of excited. A oh, no, it's going to burst. So upon looking at it, it is a gummy with a soft bottom. There may or may not be some kind of fluid in here. <laughs> yep. It's like a gusher. Kind of, but different. Way different. But the concept. Yes. I'm going to try one of these orange Oh, ones that's now. good. These are Sour. These are really that's good. That's fun. I it's tart. really like these. They're so good. Yellow. God. <laughs> Whoops, as I just rip it open. Oh, there's an actual green one in here. Hmm. 
there's like five different flavors. Four or five. So the inside liquid is actually the sour part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where that tartness comes from. So for me, I like gummy things. Mm-hmm. Tart things. Um, those get an eight from me. Thoroughly enjoy. She's struggling. That was I good. Enjoy. I just have the inability to eat sour things without turning into the face of a first grader. So, <laughs> yeah, only uglier. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd say about seven. Seven, eight. Pretty decent little snack, Germany. I'd give this about an eight. Let's see what they are. I'm sure we already guessed it. Volcano-shaped fruit gummies that erupt with sour lava. This is the... Haribo? Haribo we've all been waiting for. So, what we described. So, forget gummy bears. Have Um, volcanoes. If we sold these all the time... I would get them. Like, if we had these. If we had these, kids who had I'd weigh probably 200 pounds. <laughs> Ooh, that one's really tart. Alrighty. Moving on to our uh, adventure for Germany. Hmm. That was tart. <laughs> Anywho, as Europe's largest economy and second most populous nation... Germany is a key member of the continent's economic, political, and defense organizations. European power struggles immersed immersed, immersed. Germany in two devastating world wars in the first half of the 20th century and left the country occupied by the victorious allied powers of the U.S., the U.K., France, and the Soviet Union in 1945. With the advent of the Cold War... Two German states were formed in 1949, the Western Federal Republic of Germany, FRG, and the Eastern German Democratic Republic, GDR. (laughs) A lot going on. Do we have a visitor? Oh, wow. We have a few visitors. Um, Hello, fellas, ladies, whoever. Hello, everyone. Um, they are just making song references to the, uh, I just had sex song. Oh. Trolls. Uh, hello, internet. Hello, internet. Hello, internet. What part of the dark web did y'all come from? So what we're doing (laughs) is we are just trying... Snack crate. A snack crate. From Germany. From Germany. Yes. September. We just tried. Oop. We just tried <laughs> these um, sour volcano gummies. Yes, they were delicious. And now we are ever so quickly moving forward. Yep. Alrighty. That one wants to come with you. It does. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like. Mar marma. Ruchin. That's Kuchen? a K. Root Kuchen? Hmm. Probably means like mother's kitchen or something. Marble cake. <laughs> oh. So it's a cake. It's a cake. Shut we up. have a cake. Are you still in date? Yes. Good. <laughs> I think that one was the same as this, though. There you go. Excuse me? I saw yellow as your hand was blindly mixing things up, all right? Oh, no, I broke it. <laughs> So, um, here you go. Okay. (laughs) So it's chocolate-covered marble cake, basically, and I guess we can split this one. We could. Maybe you better open it so I don't kill it. Oh, my God. That does not look pleasant. It looks like it's going to be sweet. No, I'm just saying. Look at the general shape. I know. It looks like you cracked it out. (laughs) So, yeah, so the appearance of it's not pretty, but there's the marbled cake within. Yes. Oh my god, I love it. It's alright. I should have been a jerk and taken the bigger piece. <laughs> That's fine. It's, it's alright. Nine. I, I give it a six. It's like the dark chocolate you always wanted. I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a six. It's a it's nine. A little, it's a little, uh, dry. Oh. 
Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want to read what it was, even though it's pretty self-explanatory? Marmacuchin. A delicious combination of a sweet vanilla and chocolate cake mixed together in a delightful marble pattern. Cute. Fabulous. Alrighty. The democratic FRG embedded itself in key Western economic and security organizations. The EC, now the EU, and NATO. While the communist GDR was on the front line of the Soviet-led Soviet Warsaw Pact. The decline of the USSR and the end of the Cold War followed or allowed for German reunification in 1990. Since then, Germany has become a powerhouse on the global stage in the economic center of Europe. As Ronald Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. <laughs> um, just to clarify to you, uh, sweetie pleb, we're not brothers and sisters, um, this is my girlfriend, and this is a mutual friend of ours. The happy third wheel. <laughs> if we ever decide merch, that's exactly what that's going to be. The happy third wheel. <laughs> Devoted third How wheel. How to make this wheelbarrow work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Shall we? Yes. Here's your moment. It better be good. I swear, if you pull out some licorice... Corny. <laughs> Corny big. Dunkel Shoko cookies. This is... Corny. Corny. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Corn on the cob. <laughs> Anywho. Hey, it looks kind of like a granola bar. I'm game. Wait, why does that look like rice? It's pro It's oats. It's oats. Pass that down. <laughs> there you go. Shank. Oh, it's sticky. Ow. What do you make of this? It's like a chewy bar from Quaker. There's really nothing special about this to me. Five. Although it does kind of have coffee notes to it. Yeah, kind of. That's not something I would ever raise to get if I was there, though. So, five. But it's not terrible. It's average five. Mm hmm It's a five. Still good, though. You want to read what it actually is, even though we probably already said it? Okay, the corny big. A German twist on your favorite cereal bar. Roasted whole wheat flakes and cereal crisps doused in rich milk chocolate. Cereal. <coughs> whole wheat. Hmm. That's probably my least favorite at this point. Actually, you know what? This is a little better than the cake. I'm offended. Here we go. Never mind her. She's got her cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> My Anyways, so happy. famous Germans include composers Beethoven, Bach, Gregor Handel, and Johannes Brahms. Influential electronic musicians Kraftwerk, Are we visual talk about artists. The fact someone asked if we were sisters again <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. Sorry. Um, <laughs> visual artists are Albrecht Dürer. Peter Paul Rubens and Max Ernst, and writers Johann Wolfgang von Gjolf and the brothers Grimm have all significantly Shut influenced all. world <laughs> culture. Huh. <laughs> Thank you guys for leaving me the whole German paragraph to read. We knew you could handle it. You're fine. See, you've got this. You're good. How about you feel better and pick a snacky you, poo? You deserve food for Snacky that. poo! 10-4, good buddy. <laughs> oh, what's another German pig? No, yes! no! We're repicking. Let's repick. This thing. There's probably multiple of these. You might go digging for them. We'll show the camera. It's a uh, Lock Gummy Minis. And they're tiny gummies. Here we go again. Oh, that's, that's not going to be good. 
just two, huh? I don't know. Looks also, like we're eating inside. German food because, uh... That's what Snack Crate dictated! Yep, that's what Snack Take... That's just, what the snack crate dictated that we eat this time. Just in time for Oktoberfest. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. I can't open. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Spoiler alert. October's box is going to be Italy. Found that out already. Do you Ooh. exist, flavor? Yeah. These have a good flavor. Where? <laughs> Hold it's on. like a distant relative flavor. Shirt tail. Try this one. Flavor to say the least. Try one Ooh. from my bag. A cherry. A cherry. That one has least flavor of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two. Yeah, that's a two. That's not worth your time, even the little tiny amount you get. Okay, so as a child in the 90s, they had a lot of gummy bears because they were big, right? <laughs> Woof. Anyway. <laughs> Why is the green one a leaf? Welcome to Germany. <laughs> Maybe it's taste or flavor. Like Matcha. Peppermint. No. Well, if you want your daily dose of salz. No. Hmm. Vitamin B12. Yeah, that's a two. I just can't. Can't on those. I'm sure that was self-explanatory, but allow lime. me to read it. It's supposed to be lime, I bet. It's lime. Fruit gummies in an array of delicious flavors. Where? <laughs> where? <laughs> <laughs> Except for him, apparently, but where? Create funny faces from different shapes. You mean funny faces from my confused look on what I'm eating? Because <laughs> these are the LaCroix yeah. of gummy snacks. Okay. This is the carbonated like, water. Oh of gummies. boy, what a delightful mm. essence. Did my leg go to sleep? <laughs> That's what these taste like. You're right. Uh. <laughs> nice try, Germany. Well, that just fell on the floor. Sprinting forward from that mistake. Are we here now? Yep. Okay. Now we're on to our very odd facts about Germany. Prison escape is not against the law in Germany. German law states that it's human nature to want to be free, so prisoners have the right to escape jail. All right. <laughs> it's a little weird. I mean, it's the, I guess if you want to try, go for it. Like, it's in your nature. It's okay as I sprint out Did of Did you just take Cabela's and resurrect them for that? <laughs> we don't talk about them anymore. <laughs> oh, what did you grab? Tricks are for kids? I don't know. Fruit, fruit, say it. <laughs> fruit tiger? I don't know. Noopster <laughs> puffables. I don't know. These look like little tiny tricks to me. Silly. Are they? Bit. Is it a solid bar? No. No, oh. it's not. They're individual. It's like, it's like the that's cereal gonna be... version. Ah! That's gonna be a mess. Oh my goodness. Do we need some milk? <laughs> Do you remember Dippin' Dots? Yes. yes. This is like the freeze dried, puffy rice trick version of that. Oh, that oh. Face. I didn't like dipping dots, so this isn't a surprise. These are okay. No. Also, I never rated uh Why does sour? Of them. Why does this taste like antibiotics? <laughs> also, I never rated these. I'm giving them a 4. The gummies? Yeah. They're sour? Why is that sour to me? Are these rotten? <laughs> They're tart. I just... Is it my turn to read the thing? Yeah. I just... No. No. What are you writing these? That's a sour cereal. That's I a one. I'm confused by it. Yeah. These... <laughs> the bland... Frigo Nusper Puff Freeze? 
The bland gummies just be These those. colorful fruit flavored bites <laughs> are made from rice and corn. They're sweet with just a hint of sour in every a bite. Hint. <laughs> That's, can you just pour a few into here? Because I... I like them. They get worse as you go. That's why I'm just going for the whole thing, all right? I'm just going for it. Let me try it. a little more at a time. That's a fast one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I get worse as a sip. Hey, Gavin. What? Do you still have that salted licorice candy? Maybe. Why? He probably did. Because <laughs> that might be preferable. Over and those? I don't know how I felt. You gave it a negative one. That that's gets a, a one for me. That's the worst thing we've eaten that's so far. A, that's a no. I'm giving it about a four, too. I am just going to drink that away. Sitting there eating. <laughs> we know what he's having for cereal tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be eating that in the morning. Oh, it looks like someone clicked on you. Hello, Illidan. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Am I being made fun of over there? No. No. Oh, is it my turn? Yes. Is it my turn to choose? Um, what we're doing is we are. Blindly eating a snack crate. I want to know what this it's is. It's from Germany. We guess Whoa. at it first, and then we'll read you guys what it is, and we will rank these as a whole at the end. Erd new weird thing that looks like a bee, and Lachen. They're like peanut. They're peanut puffs. Oh, boy. I'm excited. But yeah. Oh, that's what they look like, guys. Um... For this, we're ran we randomly got a snack crate in the mail from a random country, and we are just blindly eating these and ranking each of these snacks from a different country every time we get one of these. This one happens to be from Germany, so we're just trying a bunch of German snack foods. By the way, snack crate, not a sponsor, although that would be epic. Right? Yeah. It's not random. I get them every month. The country is the only thing that's random. Guys, the country, I, I can't so pick. hope. Oh, boy. <laughs> just wait I think it kicks in what the barnacle tastes like peanuts if you have more than one solid eight dude I will eat peanut butter by the gallon or no just kidding I'm but giving like, that a six good. Okay. Also, I agree. You, there is nothing wrong with having older friends. Sometimes you just have friends that are older than you, and that happens, and that's fine. Okay, now I'm past it. See? Now I can give it a fair rating. Now it grows. I'm actually going to give this a six. That's dang good. That's a six. That's about a six. I can't me. see myself eating those. It's a good thing they don't oh, have my. these in America. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the only one buying them. Um, <laughs> here you go. Shanks. Okay, I will stop. I will Looping not go back around. Ham. <clears throat> oh well. I thought you. I'm so sorry. No, you read. Or is it? It's my turn to read. No, wait. I thought you... What did you read? You read Prison Escape. Did you not read? No. Oh, well, then you read this part. Exactly. Okay. Read. <laughs> Go. How do read? Anyway. <sighs> it's illegal to run out of fuel on the Autobahn. Poor planners can be fined and have their license suspended for up to six months. I know plenty of people here in the good old US of A me that would just be in trouble for that they'd like never have their license again literally me yeah <laughs> goes back to that meme i showed you this morning oh I'll feel a that plus for memes mm -hmm. also uh i'm in a relationship with her he uh, this person was asking who's in a relationship with who he was yeah. guessing you two 
<laughs> That's not the first time we've got that. We've also gotten... So, you know your sister. So apparently we're dating sisters now, and it's just getting weirder as the night goes, so there's that. Yep. <laughs> but no. I'm flattered. This is my girlfriend, and this is our mutual friend, Jeff. The happy third wheel onto this wheelbarrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go on. Oh, it's my turn to pick. But did you read? No, because we just read fact. Oh, well. I keep forgetting at this rate. I can feel it. <laughs> well, I'll just go ahead and read my fact then. You do that. Um, over 800 million currywursts are eaten in Germany each year. This widely popular sausage with spicy ketchup combo even has its own museum in Berlin. They have a museum dev devoted to currywursts. Oh, you got your currywurst. I knew it. But, you know, I also <laughs> got illegal on the Autobahn. So, really... There are no losers in the German snack crate, except perhaps Me. West Germany. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gets banned. Like, Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I got a Kinder Bueno. <gasps> hey, isn't this at the Walmart? <laughs> no, Kinder Eggs are at the Walmart. No, I'm serious. If you go over to the self-check, I think they have these now. <clears throat> this is Welcome what we got. to I was Germany, like, America. Bueno. There's two of these bars. Like, so. I find it funny that they use a Spanish word on a... Oh, they're individually Does anybody wrapped. speak German on this live stream? Can you tell us whether bueno is a German word? It's Spanish, I thought. It is yeah, a Spanish word. Yeah, but it can word, also be used. But it could also be a German word, potentially. Just like, <laughs> nine is spelled differently, but it means no in German. And, Take yeah. a piece. I'm just gonna quit. Oh, oh it looks like a wafer. Thank you. My six-year-old cousin would love this. Take a piece. It's like a nutty bar. Ooh. I like these. This is good. Ooh, this is really good. Creamy. Creamy. Creamy wafer thingy. Hello, King Zorbos. I'm honestly going to give this Or Zorby. Nine. Zorb something. It's Zorby. Oh. King Zorby. Who's absorbing Welcome. what? Um, he's, <laughs> this person's from Sweden. Oh, and, hi. And apparently Bueno is Italian. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, I don't know why it's in this box, but. Or Donker Shane. What did you just whisper into your mouth? So how are you doing tonight, King Zorby? We're excited to hear from you. Yeah. And we're super excited that you guys are all in this stream. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a second one in there. Let's somebody stop the self-check at Walmart because, girl... I'm going to sprint there and get some of those. I'm sure it's the same. Nice knowing you. Previous page. <laughs> Flips back to fun facts. Oh. Layers of delicious crispy wafer filled with a rich hazelnut cream and coated in milk chocolate. It is freaking good, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really good one. I'm a giving that about an more. eight. That's like eight, nine. I got a solid nine on that. That's the best thing like, we've That's eaten. making me reevaluate the marble cake. All right? <laughs> hey, look, you can break Just them kidding. off in little pieces. Just kidding. <gasps> Yay! Yes. Give me more. I'm just gonna have to take a moment and enjoy that because. Gotta it's... say, the sweeter part of this box is so much better to me than the sour part because then I turn like eight shades of green. I'm sorry, guys. I'm offended. <laughs> I wanted it real bad. That's fine. You eat that. He's been drinking a lot. King Zorby has. Because it's Oktoberfest. I'll drink to that. Oktoberfest. Happy Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. I didn't want to swish away the hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> you fiend. Well, bad luck to you. I gotta stop. Because that one's going to be gone. And I don't want to go to Mike's. 
Not during this. No. Oh, is it my turn? Steals yes. his second one. Read your fun fact. This doesn't appear to be a fact. Here we are. <laughs> Down here? Yes. Help me. Barbarians have a tradition called... Gavin? Fruit shopping. Fruit yeah. shopping. That means... Having a glass of beer before noon. They claim it aids digestion and boosts the metabolism. Well, you know what? Considering my ancestors are from Germany and Scotland, yes. I got Irish and German. And well, and we're Swedish. all... We're all... Scottish and German. Aha! <laughs> I am not Scottish, for the record. <laughs> not one ounce. Well, all right. You Go better dive down. in. <laughs> oh, like, just one. Nopper. Noppers. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I'm gonna guess this We've is a wafer. Glad I ruined it. S'mores. Is that a s'more? It looks like a s'more. What the? I want to eat it. Can I eat all that? Let me try and... Somebody else better do this or I'm just going to have it all over the table. Do you have a knife? Uh, I can go fetch a knife. I have a pocket knife, but I'd rather not. It's been on boxes. I'll be right back. I'll go fetch a knife. The blood of my enemies. No, just kidding. I... Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Nine! Did you just yell a nine number thing? I was calling the snack a nine, thank you. <laughs> nine. <laughs> have a nine. Um, fun fact, I had a professor in college that was talking about but I've been uh, the pronunciation that. of Middle English words. Like, night would have been kneeked. That would have been a kneef. So... I'm just gonna do it that way. Fair enough. Just like the Canterbury Tales. Yeah. Here you are. Thank you. Here you are. Why? Here you are. Why too? I don't know. Much more. Mm -hmm. This is more. Apparently, an Oktoberfest was a royal German wedding. Really? Or German royal wedding. Hmm. I think I saw something on the internet about that, but I wasn't too certain. Does this anybody like this more than I did? I did. There you go. I'm not too big on it. That's another six for me. That's nothing really That's too... That's about a six. Too thrilling. I'm giving it a seven because I like s'mores. Just to recap on what it is. Crispy hazelnut wafer cookies filled with delicate nougat and sweet milk cream. So my question. So not really my, as more. Oh. I propose the idea, because I don't know, that hazelnut must be a pretty big thing in Germany then. Well, perhaps. Although we learned that this was Italian. This felt the Kinder time. is German. But wait. Means child. Like kindergarten, garden of children. Well, who's next? King Zorby says if we want to learn about Sweden, he's more than happy to help. Ooh, awesome. We love to read well, that. It's too bad we don't have a Swedish box tonight. Oh, look. Despite its name, the game Chinese Checkers was invented in Germany in 1892. Hmm. So confused. they decided to confuse us 400 years after Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Well, what <laughs> can I say? I need a. I need help. Anyway. Oh God, this is gonna be terrible. No. This one. Oh. Does it have a spicy pepper on the front? That looks like a bell pepper. That's like a red bell pepper. Oh. Chips fresh. Ungarish. Funny fresh. It's a funny fresh. Ungarish. 
Ungerish. We don't speak oh. other languages. We're challenged. I speak. You speak. <laughs> Muy piquito. They're not even fun shaped. Well, that's a hit against it. Barbecue. That's it? It's as good as the Hawaiian barbecue box. Hmm. It's just a barbecue chip. Apparently, that's what red bell peppers taste like in Germany is barbecue sauce. And sunflower. Sunflower oil. <laughs> that might not be good. No, it's fine. Read it. Sunflower oil is kind of healthier for you. Anywho. Howdy ho, then. Classic crunchy potato chips flavored with the taste of sun-ripened bell peppers. Sun-ripened bell peppers are better, in my opinion, than sun-ripened tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> These are good, though. Yeah. I mean, I'd Again, buy them. Solid six for me. Seven. Six seems to be my number tonight. Yeah, it's about a six. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a seven. Yep. Could be worse. Could be licorice. Finland licorice. This is not Finland. Oh, could be worse. Like, okay. Apparently my inner Scott comes out after the second German beer. <laughs> no, I'll fight you on whatever you say. The sky is blue. What do you mean? Well, we're out of fun facts for Germany. We are fresh out of fun facts, but we have some snacks left. Yes, we do. <laughs> Give it oh no, he's going for... Oh, never mind. We're running out. We are absolutely... It's a peanut snack. Ooh. Um, to be fair, I actually liked the salted licorice. So, don't even get me wrong about that. That was delicious. No. He loved it. No, it was rock hard, salted, black, licorice bites. No. <laughs> it was good. It was gross. It was really good. You couldn't he, even get it off your teeth. He was the biggest fan of that. Yes. I... I love black licorice. Couldn't and also, the snack I grabbed was a peanut snack called... Knickknacks. 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Barbecue. Barbecue flavored nuts. Oh my god. Here Barbecue we go flavored again. peanuts. We're set. We're Arr. ready. Let's go. <laughs> Are you just riding the struggle bus tonight? Yes. I I wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. There's not a tab. There's not a tab. Just give me. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? Hey. Why does everyone have knives? Am I going to get attacked? <laughs> no, I'm about to stab that packaging. I was gonna stab the packaging. You can stab it now if you want to. No, you can't. I'm holding it. It's already open. Thank you, Granddad, for letting me inherit a pocket knife. There we go. And you? Excuse me. <laughs> Can I get out of there. I don't want to exit. <laughs> no. It's only pain meds and beer. Let me guess. You'll love it. <laughs> no, I'm not in love with this. Oh, well, I was wrong, because we both scowled at the same time. It tastes more like coffee. Coffee and barbecue. That's a strange combination, and I think I agree. I'm a foodie. I know what I'm talking about. Double crunch peanut. I don't like them. I like the crunch. It's 
three. That's a no from me. I yeah. would still buy them. Coffee and barbecue is what we compared that to. And that seems yeah. like a really weird combination to us. Let's see what they really are. I like both. Crunchy peanuts that are coated in a zesty barbecue flavor. A German favorite that you can't put down. Well, I put it down! You know no. what? I'm going to dissent. I think I like those. It reminds me kind of of Cajun food with a different depth to it. Umami, maybe? Is it my turn? Yes. I think we're down to our last snack You take bag. those. And there's multiple of them. So I'm going to pull them all out. Is it like a gumdrop thing? Yeah, I don't know. I swear, if this is lemon flavored, I'm going to die. Huh? Do you May help? I read it? Here you go. I get the red one. You can choose one. A oh, hot no. brush. What? Oh, no. I told you it was a hard word. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna guess this could be some oh, kind boy, of sour gross. thing. Never wash those peanuts away. Ugh. I tried, but they still stuck with me. Let's go. <laughs> they're not sour. God, I hope they're not. Otherwise, you'll pay. So you had what kind? Oh, that's good. Lime. Lime. What did it's you have? It's a really good one. Which one did you grab? Kind of a lemon lime. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I this love this. It's a cherry. Why don't we have these here? This is like a fruit punch. Hmm. That's exactly what this tastes like. It's good. I have the soul of an old woman anyway, so this is like I will take it. My God. Yeah, that's. I give that an eight. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is a really good This should have been our palate pack. cleanser. It just, mm. yeah. Who wants the next one? Because we still have one more thing we need to do. Well, I know. Oh! But... Well, maybe we should have done this first because this is going to take a while. Yeah. It's going to take us a little bit to get these down. Anyone We're have any thoughts they want to share in the meantime? <laughs> oh no, what do you do? It's sour in the middle. Ooh, this could be good. Is it also fizzy? Yeah. It's a Zots. A home? Have you ever had Zots? Z-O-T-S? Oh my god. I was so not expecting that. It's a hard that. Zots candy. So. I another, like it even more. I in other it. terms, they do have this in the U.S. Mm-hmm. The German is a harsh people, but they stole it all from us in Scandinavia. Oh! <laughs> Technically, geographically, you're right. Technically, yeah. Scandinavia was gigantic. I oh, really you know. like that candy. That candy was actually really good. Solid Even the sour eight. middle, which I wasn't expecting, and then just crunch, sour. And I was like, oh! I'm going to set this aside before I make the sour face for the 82nd time tonight, because I can't do it. Well, we do have a drink for tonight's box. Last box, we had some kind of malfunction, and I did not get the drink. But we are back to having the drink. Yes, I'm going to go fetch the drink. It is a soda, to my understanding. We think. Yes, we think. Oh, I forgot to read Unless it. cola means something different in Germany. No, just kidding. Just then it does. What do you mean it's coffee? <laughs> What is? Soda's probably on the next page. I'm not looking for the soda. Oh. Oh, there they are. Mm. Delicious and fruity hard candies with a sparkling bubbly powder hidden inside to give your tongue a sweet surprise. Yeah, that about sums it up. Super good. So it's like Pop Rocks hidden inside a... I personally would like one of these. Yeah, you keep it. Alrighty. So, our soda tonight is Schwip Schwap. Apparently, it is a cola mixed with orange soda. 
We'd like to point out the fact that we have very special shot glasses for tonight's episode of Foodie Friday. Halloween, because it's October, guys. Yes! Yeah. The best month of the year. And everyone knows that the entire month of October is Halloween Eve. I mean, Sounds we had September. We had our <laughs> We had our own Oktoberfest earlier this month. We did. Where we had brats made with uh Holocaust survivor Benny Hawkman. His uh Famous sauerkraut recipe here. Oh my god. Ooh, that was hard to pour. Yeah. Ooh, yay! Our local. I hope I love this. Our local uh, area we live in uh, takes Oktoberfest fairly seriously, so. Yes. Makes it kind of a multicultural festival considering they also had bagpipe players. <laughs> yeah, from Ireland and Scotland. Bagpipes! What? Oh, here I'll pour it. Okay. Oh, thank you, friend. I'll try. It smells good. I'll give it that. It does smell pretty good. It has like a, a caramel look rather I, than the pitch black soda look that we so get. So less of the coloring. Mm-hmm. Very orangey. Yeah. To clarify, um, I know not everyone is from the U.S. tonight watching, but we have like a Coke orange vanilla vanilla thing that came out. And especially if you drink the regular version, um, how would you explain that flavor? Because it's different in this. It's just Coke with a with a faint. There's a weird peppery depth to Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Without the cocaine that it was originally made with. Thank you, Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the orange vanilla coke has more of the vanilla than the orange i feel like this has more of the orange exactly. citrusy it's brighter without the weird aftertaste which mm -hmm. i appreciate yeah the regular coke orange vanilla is very much just a heavy coke flavor with a faint what i was just looking at the oh. color <laughs> with a faint orange at the end um if you get the coke zero orange vanilla version which is like a diet one you get more of that orange sneaking through so it's better in my opinion this is better than both of those because it is very citrusy it's with refreshing a, with the coke aftertaste it's just backwards and it's kind of like cool orange so and some coke king zorby thinks we advertise halloween right after august that's that was kind of true this year we in america it goes september 4th of july we're immediately into Halloween, and then right after, right, right, not, after. right before Thanks Halloween starts, it's Christmas in retail America. Mm -hmm. We don't even celebrate Thanksgiving, basically. <laughs> They're like, also some turkey, but mainly buy stuff. Unfortunately. Yeah. The Schwip Shop is really good. But you pretty good. much nailed America right on the head there. You did. When Way it, to go. When it comes to retail stores, absolutely. Because in their heads, they think they need to advertise for those holidays in advance so people hurry and buy it. Because, because if they, it's close, they don't want it anymore. Yeah. Like, so. you go out the week before Halloween to buy Halloween decorations or whatever. There's nothing left. It's the dregs. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, look at this broken clown doll. Still freaky. <laughs> Guess we'll buy the haunted bits. So, uh... I do think a little bit of this goes a long way. Yeah, I only want a shot glass full and then we're fine. Yeah, that's... it's That's why I was trying to read, you know, how much sugar's in it and stuff. It tell. just seems kind of sweet. Probably the 17% on there. However many grams that is. Because it's good, but a little of that I is I cannot read any of that. Yeah, it's German. I'm sorry. Are you have you taken Rosetta Stone in the last five minutes because you could not read it moments ago? Well, that's fat. Fat is fat. Fat. Brenwart. What are you trying to say? Calories. <laughs> <laughs> Salt. Ah. That's. Colon hydrate is carbohydrates, so 9.8 grams. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Eight and a half pound Lord Baby Jesus. That's not, that's 
most of that is from corn sugar. And if you do the whole can, mind you, not just a third of the can, the whole can is 32.1 grams. Good grief. Diabetic coma. That's... Buy it in handy orange and Coke flavored. That is a lot. <laughs> But I mean, which is weird because it was more refreshing and bright. That that is weird because our version of orange Coke syrup <laughs> syrup is doesn't have that much sugar in it. Okay. So what? we I, have a serious question. That's what are they saying? How do you manage to keep the spirit? Doesn't it all go to waste <laughs> for Halloween? The Halloween spirit. I don't understand the question. If how do we keep Halloween yeah, spirit all, when it goes on every, for so long? Yeah. When First of all, existential so crises. The season. Like if it's from the end of 4th of July clear to Halloween when it's all in retail stores all the time. Well, people really don't start celebrating until September. True. Mid, you know, mid-September. Is when I mean, people start buying stores their Stores put their stuff out there so people will buy it for, you know... Uh, advertising purposes, but we don't celebrate straight from July. That was just a joke. Unless you're me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think that's where a lot of the problems come in, where we're not, like, festive anymore. It's sad. As a child, with all those kids, they're like, But really, Halloween! People get weird about Halloween. I don't know if anyone in this chat is weird about Halloween, but some have mixed views on the origin of it. Some think it's demonic and stuff. It's not. You could uh, ask Uncle Google. They'll be able to inform you of that. <laughs> I'm not going into it, but um, a lot of people just kind of don't let their kids acknowledge it nowadays. Um, there's a lot of issues with creepers um, putting razor blades in candy or needles in candy, stuff like that. So a lot yeah. of people can't even trick or treat. Which is where you go door to door for candy. I'm sure a lot of you know that. Um, and you yeah. know, a lot of holidays are that way, though, where it's heavily, like, there's Christmas stuff out now if you go to the dollar store. Yeah, there is some Christmas stuff out, and that's like, just retail being weird. And I mean, really, it's up to you, kind of like with much of life, to make what you can of it. I mean, there's people that go all out for Christmas right now. Mr. Griswold I know somebody down put my their, street. Yeah, there's people that put their trees up now and just skip Halloween and Thanksgiving. But it's personal preference, I guess. Yeah. Yes. But This is, whole group enjoys Halloween. As a whole. We all love it. As a whole, I think it's lost some popularity just because of the things I mentioned. Mostly the fact that kids can't really go trick-or-treat. Some, some larger cities in this country have tried to make it illegal for kids over a certain age to trick or treat. And I think that's just ludicrous. They they could be out killing somebody or stealing or you know, getting yeah. into trouble when you're going to give them a ticket to trick or treat. It is a crazy reality. Mhm. So I like to live in the land where it is Disney's Halloween town year round and I can be the witch I was born to be. <laughs> Shall we get your broom? Let's. <laughs> But yeah, um, like I haven't even gotten my stuff out yet to decorate. Oh gosh, I have not at all. I need to hang some stuff up. I was gonna do that tomorrow, actually. Get my stuff up. I go all out oh. with the outside decorations. Oh yeah. I have big blow-ups that go in the yard. And... In Sweden, they have All Saints Day. Yeah. But their children love the Halloween concept. Oh. I love it all. I mean, the whole spiritual aspect and then the, let's go out and trick or treat. Or, you know, I just, I. Really the origin, the origin is similar to Day of the Dead. The yeah. concept. So I don't know why some people grabbed a hold of it and were like, my goodness, they're worshiping evil. And That's I mean, not what it's about Because the veil between the worlds, like it or not, believe it or not, is the thinnest. Mm-hmm that day i mean yeah. just if you're a psychic sensitive or believe in any of that it is but um yeah all righty i think it tastes like a lemon pie i 
will dive down this rabbit hole until I am doomed. Hey, I could yeah. join you, but... Another we time, don't another have time. time for this. We need to rate these. We will all be 90 by the time it's done. All right. Well, we better clear a path. Steal here. your beer. Now, for those of you who haven't watched us before, I'm going to recap. Uh, we blindly go through these. We try to guess what they are. We give them a rating as we go. We then read what they are. At the end of the box, when we get through the very last item, which was our soda tonight, we're going to each rate them best to worst based on our experience with it. Would you like to go first? We usually start this way, but I'm switching it up. Oh, God. Um, I, no, we usually start on that end. I usually go last on this. Yeah. That's true. I will say, I really did love these marble cakes. Um, you sure? by the bueno. You sure that this wasn't your Get favorite? that trash out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um then I like the little peanut puffs Jerry <laughs> let King Ezekiel speak this this was pretty good that corny bar I like how we still have it unopened oh, followed by this that's away. the barbecue chips the s'more are we putting the, the drink s'more. in the ranking Yes. Okay, we're yeah, it's box. middle of the line. Um, we, we even put the Dr. Pepper Berry in there once, so... The knickknacks. The... Gummy. Oh. The volcanoes? Or these? Oh. The volcano. Then the weird gummy snacks. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, crap. These little Zots. Those are excellent. Right after the soda. Because the sour and I would make the face and embarrass myself on the internet again. <laughs> Those are last. Those are horrific. Well, that's... Oh, wait. You forgot about the... No, she didn't. No, I have the bueno. bueno up here after the market. Oh, cake. well, this is the last thing then. <laughs> yeah. Where it belongs. Wait, did we... Wait, why does this look... Please like? continue. Oh, it's empty. Okay. So just to recap... Her final rating on this marbled cake, bueno, the peanut puffs. Which order is this here? I think she meant corny and the chips. Yeah. Followed by the soda pop, these little hard candies, the s'more thing that wasn't really a s'more, um, the volcanoes, the knickknacks, these bland gummies. These nasty <laughs> sour f cereal Weird things. Weird puffy things. Um, that was it. No, the marble extra. cakes are first. Okay. You're fine. Okay. So there's her verdict. I will move on to mine. Which might not be too different. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and move the bueno, the hazelnut creamed filling wafer thing, right up to number one. I'm going to move... This up to number two. You get that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this little hard candy at number two. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I feel attacked, but sure. Um, I'm gonna put the volcano gummies at number three. Those were pretty good. Um, I'm gonna put. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna put. <laughs> The chips at number four, this marble cake at number five, this peanut thing at number six. I wasn't a fan of these, so oh. I'm gonna put that right there, followed by the fake s'more. What about the drink? Bland gummy, right here, followed by the knickknack, nasty pebble things. <laughs> the soda is actually gonna go down here right before. The bland gummies because three three sips in and that was pure sugar so that was a bit much for me so yeah the worst thing on my list miles by the way when i actually break it down miles down the pits of bad ratings oh. you will find this and probably these but there's my rating 
Oh my god, you raked the corny with the sour cereal? What? I'm... The corny's over here. No, you said in probably these. What were you probably the next? Next. Oh. You know, I can't blame you. Those were an acquired taste. Mm hmm. I'm offended. Where is my sauerkraut in this box? I was expecting a Santa or a can of kraut. Let's freeze our rating for just a moment. Um, I meant to ask you, out of all of these, I know they're out of your order now. Okay. Um, out of all of these, which would you ever purposely go buy? Any? None? Marble cake. I would not buy the Kinder Bueno simply because I could not stop myself. Um, and then probably on a road trip or something I do the barbecue knickknacks. And the peanuts. Yeah. Fair enough. How about you? What would you go buy? You know... And the Michelob Amber Bach. That one is not included. It is so included. Uh, I'm gonna be a little honest with this. The Germany box surprised me in the sense that I didn't absolutely love the box. I thought I would. And the ones that I would go out of my way to buy, the Bueno, which I don't really have to go that far out of my way because I know I saw these somewhere. Um, these candies, which I don't necessarily have to go out of my way to buy, according to our friend here. Um, I really like the Volcanoes. I don't think that those are nearby. I would go out of my way to get them. The rest of this here, I really... Like I said, my reviews were sixes and threes and ones and stuff tonight. Um, the highest ones being the little candy and the bueno. So they were miles past the rest. So I'm a little disappointed in this box tonight compared to some of the other ones we've had. What about you? You. What's your consensus? Pretty Kings average box. box. Kings Arby finds this intriguing. I'm glad. Hooray! I didn't hate a lot in this box. I didn't necessarily hate I mean, it was very yeah. run-of-the-mill, and I, I appreciate that, rather than making me do the licorice face. Oh, yeah. Finland was a <laughs> rough mean, one. They had a lot of tough candy. Meanwhile, Gavin's like, Finland! Can we move there? And we're both putting the kibosh on that. No. Um. <laughs> do they sell sushi in Finland? No. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm good. Please continue talking. Pain delirium. You want to rate them? I suppose I have to rate these. Go ahead. Oh, okay. here you go. I'll get my cup out of the way. Get you some. We can also uh, do a brief rating on all the boxes we've done this far. We've given you a kind of a preview <gasps> of what we. These are number one. Wow, the volcanoes so are number one. He votes. Oops, volcanoes number one, which is not surprising. They're pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those are probably, when it comes to non-familiars, probably the best candy I've had in um, this box. We'll put Bueno up at number two. Okay. That Bueno was really good. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to give you space. <laughs> trying to give me all the space. We're going to put this up there. Don't burn it now. I can hold it if you'd like. No. Um, throw it out the window. I actually really like the drink. Well, that was something I liked. How far uh, is it down? I know this. Little tiny candies. I know towards the end. That makes sense. These barbecue chips were really delicious. They were. They were good. The corny bar. The corny bar. I felt like I was eating bird food and chocolate. Uh, the cake. Followed by these little guys. Followed by these other I'll just hold them gummies. Up. Followed by the knickknacks and then these little tiny peanut guys. What about this guy? What about this more? Oh, fake the s'more. fake s'more goes right in front of the gummies. There we go. Oh. All right. So out of all of these, which ones would you go out of your way to buy? The volcano gummies. <laughs> Just those. Um, I'd also go out of my way to buy that. Uh, those buenos. 
Hi there, Sea Dog. How are you doing tonight? Sea Dog. Sea Dog, you showed up you at the made end. It. Hello. You showed up at the end of you it. You showed again. up at the end. Oh. Keep going. Anyways, so I would go out of my way to get the volcanoes in the Bueno, and if I could find it, I would try to find the pop. Mm, I don't think I'd try to find the pop because it is terribly sweet. And I feel like I'd just be drinking tear sugar at that point, and it's like, no. Um, and then maybe those little hard candies. Those little hard candies were really, really well, good. Well, then I know what to get y'all for Christmas. Did you feel like this was a pretty solid performing box? Were you disappointed? Were you dissatisfied I, to none? I felt this was a solid performing box. Mm -hmm. Lo I, I do I, think that the German food is a little bit less flavorful than most. It's underwhelming to me. I thought it would be a lot. But there are a lot of good things in this set. At least we didn't have spicy plums. To me. <laughs> okay. Those spicy plums were That's... ridiculously good. I think um, looping back around to our overall snack crate experience, um, what is your favorite snack from all the crates so far? The yams. Absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say the, the yams. The purple yam puff cake the thing. Philippine like, sponge, Philippine. The Philippine yeah. sponge. Yeah, the Philippine yam sponge cake was miles, was miles above the rest so far. That was probably the best thing that we you made. You think so? Yeah, the worst, the, the worst thing, and he's going to agree with me, I still think is that salted licorice from Finland. Disagree. <laughs> you? Oh, gosh. There was that, and then I know there was something so terrible that I repressed it and don't even remember. I'd have to watch our videos again because I just don't remember. It might have been those plums. No, I don't think so. Either I think that those... or it was those weird gummies we were describing, yep. Robitussin. Yeah, <laughs> Robitussin gangrene, I remember. So, yeah. yeah, just to recap for all of our new observers tonight, um... Our first box we have done was Hawaii, and it was a pretty small box because it was a, a, a Kickstarter, kind of a essentially. a little tester deal. Um, terribly disappointing. <laughs> um, yeah. It had some really good pineapple gummies in it, but it had some horrific things in it as well, like the plum we were just talking about. Um, oh, the plum pit thing that you weren't supposed to eat the pit for? And he just um, crunched uh, right through it. Like yeah, I could have done We've done, uh, <laughs> we've done Finland, and then we've done Spain, Philippines. I think we're missing one. I can't think of the other one. Did it start with an ab? Mm. Mexico. No, we didn't. We no. didn't do Mexico. We wanted to do Mexico. No, that's right. We got that. Spain as our Spanish box. Yeah, I have Spain, Finland, Hawaii, and the Philippines. I thought South we Africa? had one more. No, we didn't have South Africa. Apparently, it wasn't very memorable because we don't know <laughs> what it is. That's the repressed one. What oh. was it? Did we do a Sweden box? We didn't. Okay. Switzerland? No. You might have to quickly look and see what that other one is. Oh, I'll look up my list. It's, we've been doing so many so far apart, it's hard to keep track. You know what? I think the last one we did was... Oh! It was... Uh, uh, the Caribbean. The Caribbean. We did Norway, too. No, I don't think so. Amsterdam, wherever that one is. Mm-mm. There were poppies on the box of Finland. Okay, so we've done... It was the Caribbean box. Yeah, the Caribbean box was the last one we did. Which was just fair. Yeah. Why am I thinking? We also did Poland. Yeah, Poland. 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 Poland was the... Yeah, because we were so excited about it being Polish. I wanted something that tasted like a... Um... All I can think is gyoza. It's supposed to be P. Like a dumpling, you know, with the noodle kind of thing with the stuff on the inside. 
I think is, is Sweden in the list of countries that we can get boxes from? Yes. Okay. So Sweden is one of the countries that we can get. So we can we'll get hold it off on that. From literally everywhere. We can get it. We even have apparently an American snack crate box. And I've watched other people crack that baby open and it's snacks that I've never heard of. So apparently on the other side of the country we're in, they have a lot of different stuff that we don't have over here. Yes. But, uh, yeah, there's Australia, there's, um, Japan, Japan, there's Korea, Korea, Korea China, Ireland, um, I still New want... Zealand, um, I would be down for New Zealand. I can't think of them all right now, but there's a whole bunch of South Africa, um, Brazil. <laughs> Thank you, King Zorbi, for that follow. I really appreciate I that. I can't think of which one it is, but it's there's some Middle Eastern country ones, too. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch. And I if I can't really... If there's I'd be so excited. I think that there is. Oh. I can't pick what ones come to me. They are randomly sent to me each month. So I don't know yes. until the beginning of each month. And like I we said, we all want Japan so bad. And like I <laughs> oh said, uh, this German one came in late because of an issue on Snack Crate's end. Um, so we already know what October's is actually going to be. It's Italy. So that one is one I've been wanting to try as well. I imagine their chocolate's pretty good, but I bet Switzerland has been better. I'm still thinking if we did get a Japanese box, I would want some of those dried I could probably, squid that are like chips, you know? I would eat that. I would try that. Let me see how many I can actually. This might take a minute. Because I watch Simon and Martina on YouTube and they, you know, they've lived in Korea. They've lived in Japan. I would love to try some of those snacks from over there. Oh, there's also a France one. Yeah. France I forgot to cool. list that one. I had just signed up and missed that box, so it might be a while before we loop back to it. I think I forgot my password. <laughs> How dare. Darn. Might have to look generically. Germany, Caribbean. There's apparently a space themed one that you can yes. get. Like they came out with it around April Fool's Day to punk us, and they were like, no, really, you're getting that for April. I, again, wasn't signed up in time for that, so. That would have been awesome, though. This is just listing all the ones we've had. <laughs> United Kingdom, they're Ooh. the British one. Brazil. There's France. Israel, there's Ooh. the one I was thinking of. Japan. Hawaii. Uh huh. Oh, Hawaii. <laughs> Netherlands, the Netherlands. Switzerland. South Africa. Canada. I knew Canada was floating Maple around. Maple freaking syrup. Turkey. Those are all the ones that are just on the generic Turkey page, but there's food. there's a whole bunch, and and we're just gonna keep going with it until it loops back to one we've had already. So when it starts looping, we'll stop. But we've got tons to go through. Yeah, we have a lot of these. You just gotta keep tuning in on Foodie Fridays and see which one it's gonna be because we don't know, we can't predict. Yeah. It. Which full disclaimer, sometimes it ends up being a Saturday. In that case, it's just Snack Crate Saturday. It's, it'll be okay. Yes. We're pretty chill. Mostly because my schedule was a failure, but these days I think it'll be okay. Now we're pretty... We're pretty we're solid pretty on even. schedules anymore, so... In theory. But yes. So there is a Swedish one that we'll be getting in the near future, so we will go ahead and just hold off on any kind of our country snacks until we get the Sweden box so that we can try it. But, as for now, I think that this has been a very successful snack crate. I think so. <laughs> Round of applause to the snacks. I, I give Germany a solid B. You haven't heard about this since before now because uh, 
it's kind of just been something that's going on for a couple of months. They these usually come in at the end of the month, and we can only usually do one only at the end of the month. Snack crate been going on for a couple of years. Well, snack crate may have been going on for a couple of years, but we haven't been doing it until a couple of months ago. We are newbies to Twitch, relatively. I do think we're getting better. Than, yes. Than the first time that was Hawaii a disaster. Was rough. To be fair, we didn't have a lot to try in Hawaii. Yeah. No, and we also we weren't as comfortable in front of the camera. We were just like, yep, yep, nope, Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Bad joke. Food. <laughs> Terrible um, joke. I'm also posting these to YouTube as well in case you guys do miss these. Oh, so yeah. the only, I am also sharing these on YouTube. The only one that you won't find on there is Hawaii. Um, just because it was it, terrible. It was, it was not internet worthy and it was a poor performance. There was suggestive jokes. We we were just very new at it. So that one's not on there. <laughs> but you're gonna find Poland and Finland. Philippine, Spain, Caribbean, and this one on there if you guys want to catch up. Finland has licorice, so that one is and uh, one that everyone likes to watch. Just we, to see the reactions of that licorice. The we, reactions were classic. We do, we do try to read all of the information in the pamphlet about each country in Hawaii. We did. Yeah. I mean... I mean, well, no, we didn't really do that. We but. were a mess. I mean, now we like to be informed more about the country. And, like, yes. after we try it, we'll read up on it. Well, we have a rhythm. We have, yeah, we have um, structure. Where Hawaii's was very scattered. And <clears throat> so we just were like, let's not post What that do you one. mean, this pit? Um, if you're looking it? for my yeah. YouTube channel, there's a little button underneath my video thing that that should take you to YouTube if you just click on YouTube. Yeah, the link's on the page. Yeah. So there you have it. This was a good foodie Friday. Yes. It was. It may not be Friday for much longer, but... Where's the link? <laughs> Right here. It's still in yours. No, mine has been gone for a while. Good okay? grief. <laughs> Some people drink away their pain. Me. <laughs> so. Also, on a side note, before we sign off, just in case we have younger audiences. Um, we are all we're, the legal age in our country. Yes. So. We're all um, very much legal aged. I was just going to point out, we usually don't make a point to drink alcohol during these streams. We did it for the sake of Oktoberfest time frame. So. Okay. I'm going to fix that for you, King Zorby, and I'll go ahead and get an actual link to that site instead of just that button. Because this is, the I think, the second or third time that I've had that complaint about oh. not being able to find it. So well, I'll just his... get an actual link to it. Yeah. So I'll do that after this video, after this stream is done. So thank you for that, and I will get that fixed. All right. All right, so I think that about covers everything in the snack crate, and that this video, or this stream, is <laughs> completed. <laughs> Sorry. On that note. On that note, we better go home. <laughs> <laughs> we are home. <laughs> So, I'd like to thank everyone who showed up to watch this tonight. You guys are all awesome, and I really appreciate all the support and love that you guys are sending us on this. This is one of the favorite times of the month to do this. It's always it's fun to do this. time of the month. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I really appreciate all that, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next stream. And in case you didn't know, this is also a gaming channel. I do gaming on this, mostly, so this is just something that's fun. And please, for the love of Pete, beg him to bring back Slime Rancher. Thank you. Here we go again. See you right. next time. <laughs> See you guys all in the next stream. Bye. You guys take care.